how to use equity scheduling step-by-step -step booking system guide. Hey guys, welcome to equity scheduling tutorial in which I will be showing you how you can automate your booking and run your business. So let's get into it. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to equityscheduling.com and you will land on this website right here. Equity is powered by Squarespace. It allows you to book clients, manage client communication and take payments with scheduling software. In order to get started, you can click on get started and sign up for free using your Google account or your email address. So after the initial sign up, this is where you will get. And I'll show you how you can book a client with equity scheduling. So if you have a website you need to do booking, then I think you should check out this platform. So once you get on this platform, first of all, we have set up your scheduling page. Here, what you can do is you can create your own page and it will have like the booking system and you can set your availability and more. So the first step is setting your availability. We're going to click on this option right here and you can also find the availability option under, uh, you know, overview here. You can see we have a bunch of other options. So in availability, it's very easy to set. First of all, you're going to select your time zone. So you can select any of the time zone from here. Then you're going to select the days. So for example, if you're available from Monday to Friday, you can select this one and then you will select your time. So we have 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Well, for me, uh, we don't have 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can just simply write 10 and it will, of course, get it. So we do from 10, 8 p.m. So I'm going to simply do that. So you can see this is my time. No, not a.m. It's actually p.m. And then you can see this is our, uh, you know, uh, time zone available. Um, so now what we can do is we can just simply go ahead and, uh, you know, add a row here or we can apply to all. So if I click on apply to all, now you'll be able to see it's the same time to all of the days. I don't have to go one by one to change the time. And I'm going to switch off uh, the Saturday and Sunday because we're not available on Saturday and Sunday. So similarly, if you wanted to maybe change, maybe on Wednesday, you're not available on this time. So you can, of course, change it and you can set your availability according to you. You can actually click on view additional settings and it will show you a bunch of other settings that we can do uh, when it comes to our calendar. So you can see this is our calendar here and I'll, I'll be able to see my regular hours here and I can also see my specific days. So I'm just going to go back to our home here. So once our availability is set, you're just going to click on save. And now you have set your availability. After setting your availability, now you can actually go to your scheduling page. And you can see this is the preview of your scheduling page, which is pretty basic. Now, what we can do is you can see according to my time, my availability, this is what it will look like. I can actually go to styles now and we can change the style of my page completely. So right now you can see this is the color theme. Maybe I wanna change it according to my brand or something like that. So I can completely do that. I can edit the palette here and we can change the, you know, the edit of it, for example, I want to kind of like go and play around the brand colors, which is actually this, you know, pinkish shade. So we're going to keep that. So you'll be able to see that we can customize our, uh, you know, whole page and you can even get a preview uh, here. You can get a preview on, um, you know, laptop or you can get a preview on the phone as well. So uh, setting up your page is also really easy. You can just kind of like play around the settings. We even have the advanced DSS available and preview. So uh, once you've set up your, you know, page, you have set up your uh, availability. Now let me show you how you will book a client. So you can simply go to clients here and this is where you can create a new client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add client and we're going to add the first name. So my new client is uh, Sarah and then we have phone number. So I can just like add any kind of phone number here. And then we can, of course, add an email address. And then I can add a note here. So for example, we can go with like new client. This is just like a note for the purpose of the video. I'm going to click on add client and you'll be able to see that a new client has been created. Now, if I click on the client, I'll be able to see all of their, you know, um, different settings. Now to book them, what I will do is I will just click on the client and then we're going to click on schedule. So now this is where we will schedule a client. We can also get this option under the appointment type here. So what we can do is we can actually set up appointment type before we uh, schedule a client. So 
how to set up the appointment type. So there are two types of appointments. You can either go for a type of service or what type of service you're providing. So for example, uh, in our case, we kind of like provide the, uh, you know, marketing insight. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go for marketing insight. That's our, you know, um, name of the service. And then we have duration. So the duration is one hour. So we're going to go for like 60 minutes. And the price for this one is going to be $125. So we're going to add it here. And then we have choose file. This is where I can choose any type of file that I want to add. And then we have public or private. So I'm just going to keep it private for the purpose of the video. And we can even have a group class around the same service. Now I'm going to click on create appointment type. And now I have an appointment type ready. We have the clients ready. We have the availability. Similarly, we even have the add-on option available in equity. With add-on, what I can do is I can add some extra customers or kind of like an extra thing to our appointments so if i click on create add-on it will allow me to add maybe like the name of that service so our add-on is that with the marketing uh, you know insights sometimes we also provide the uh, you know creation class which involves around the content creation so i'm going to go ahead and add this and this one is additional price so if you want that you can actually get the whole price for maybe 200 so so the additional for me is like 75 and then we have the minutes and the minutes are actually 30 minutes and then we have clients and admin admin only so this is the access that you want to give to your clients or admin or just yourself after selecting all of this you can just click on create and now there is an add-on option available as well so if you want if someone wants to add on something they can of course we can create coupons uh, as well when it comes to our you know scheduling website so we can create an, a, a coupon by just going here and we can add like the name or the code for the coupon so let's say the coupon code is like this i'm just going to create something random and then we have 100 percent discount no not 100 percent, but we do go give off 20 percent. and each customer can use this one time upon any appointment type and then we can add of course an expiration date so i'm going to add the end of the month we're going to click on save coupon and now we have a, a coupon ready to be used and this is going to be the code that's how easy it is to create a coupon with equity so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and go to clients and in clients, I'm going to click and I'm going to schedule so because we have everything right now. I'm going to click on schedule and now we have to choose an appointment type. So you can see this is the appointment type that I just created. So I'm going to select this one. Then we have the date and time. So of course, the day, let's say that maybe it's for this day here and the time we have is 10 a.m. So we're going to do that. And then we have the same client added here under. I don't need to do much because I have already selected the client. I will click on schedule appointment and you will see that the appointment has been scheduled and it has been added to my calendar and a notification will be sent to the email address of my client that's how easy it is to create a uh, you know booking with equity we can also import and export very easily i can export the client list import the client list as well uh, then we also have the invoices option here because of course uh, when you're dealing with the booking you will be dealing with the uh, you know pricing so you want to create an invoice and send to the email so for that you can just go to the invoice click on create invoice and here you can add the client name and you can select so i'm going to select the same client you can select the item Item. we have created an item so we're gonna just select the item here we're gonna select the invoice ID so let's say this is like the first one and we're gonna select the quantity how many services they have availed how many times they bought it and once you're done you will see the email address you will see the preview click on send and an invoice will be sent to your uh, you know customer so that's how you can send an invoice with equity too um well, then we have the calendar reports in reports i'll be able to see all the appointments all of the revenue users tips intake forms and more this is my hub or dashboard where i'll get all the insights to my equity booking and i'll be able to kind of like manage my clients better Equity is all-in-one scheduling platform that I think you should definitely check out. I hope this video was a big help to you and now you know how to use Equity step-by-step. -step. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.